Hello, we are students of the Bay COV School and we would like to introduce you to our documentary on sustainability at the Roman Villa. The Roman Villa is located in the middle of a biosphere. The less complicated definition of a biosphere is a region or area of the surface of the earth which is inhabited with different species of plants, animals and a variety of wildlife. Surrounding the villa is a biodiverse area of Sandown, Lake and Braiding. Some examples of the variety of wildlife featured here are otters, red squirrel, long-eared owl, brown hare, barn owl, skylark, adders and a variety of rare butterflies, flora and fauna. What exactly is sustainability? Sustainability is the process of avoiding the depletion of natural resources to help serve an ecological balance. Sustainability is a very important thing as it helps improve our lives, it protects our ecosystems and it preserves natural resources for the future generations. Why exactly is Rome Villa here? Uh, the Roman villa is here because the Romans were copying the Iron Age people who lived here before. There was an Iron Age settlement here for at least 3,000 years before the Romans and this showed that this was an excellent place to live. The Braiding Roman Villa was built around 390 AD, making it over 1,600 years old. It was first discovered in Victorian times. It was found with multiple objects, including a pair of shoes, coins and buttons. What artefacts do you find most interesting and why? Perhaps the most interesting one uh, is the bronze lock plate, because you only need to lock the door when you leave the building. It can now be found in a sustainable building, preserving the remainder of the walls and mosaic floors and other items found after the Victorians. The Braiding Villa is the only known villa to have a cockerel-headed man in the mosaic flooring, also known as Gallus. The mosaics also contained Medusa, a two-tailed merman, an astronomer and the Four Seasons. It's the mosaics that make Braiding Roman Villa different to most of the other uh, villas in Roman period. Our mosaics are outstandingly high quality because they're made of very small tesserae. That means very small little stones. And this means that the pictures are accurate and detailed. Whilst the Romans brought a lot of things to Britain, one thing not many people know is they invented the hypercore system, or more commonly known as underfloor heating. They did this by having wood fires heat up the air in the hollow underfloors and box flues in the walls, therefore keeping the villa warm. However, the main problem with this system was that the heat would kill nerve endings in the foot, therefore letting funguses grow on the feet without the immune system knowing. Gross. During the design of the cover building, they thought about the sustainability of the building and they needed a way that would keep the remains at the optimal temperature in the most environmentally friendly manner. They decided with the grass on the roof because it is more sustainable and easy to maintain than the traditional air conditioning and heating that cost around 300 to 600 pounds annually. But the thing is with grass, it will keep the building at the optimal temperature all year round. One of the ways that the Roman Villa is sustainable is through its solar panels. In 2005, they were installed helping use less fossil fuels and have less carbon emissions. However, compared to 2005, solar panels have gotten much better, being 90% cheaper and still more effective. It's starting to become one of the most used forms of energy. So, what have we learnt today? We've reflected on the villa's interesting history and examined what it's like today, comparing the sustainability from both time periods. But what's next? To avoid material deduction, we hope that the Roman villa's construction techniques influence the future of design across the island. <laughs>